I have so much technology going on at the same time. Okay, so take your playlist and go over to your yoga mat. Jane Deans. Made it. Uh, and I guess we'll just start in child's pose, but know that I'm gonna make you start it sort of after the initial breath. So spread the knees wide, reach your hands straight in front of you, and just bring the forehead down to the mat. We always like to start off in child's pose. It's always nice, relaxing. It allows us to reset from our day. And thank you so much for spending one extra hour with me on the internet after you've maybe been on the internet all day. It's all good, right? Me too. And thank you to Gina, Derek, for uh, practicing with me to make this easier for me to remember. So spread the knees wide, reach those hands, maybe rock the forehead side to side and just arrive here. And start to set your intention for this class. No matter if you're on your living room or you have kids with you or you're a little bit distracted or maybe you're just right here. No matter what goes on in the world, we always remember to come back to ourselves. Can we be right, right here within our own bodies? The only thing that we can control is right within us, nothing around us. So can we be more present in this moment? So just think about that intention as you just exhale all the air out of the lungs, letting go of any expectations you may have of this class. And then have a deep inhale through the nose, big breath in, fill up those lungs as you hold at the top. Exhale, H-A. Again, deep inhale through the nose, big breath in. Exhale, H-A. Again, deep inhale through the nose, fill it on up as you hold at the top. Exhale, H-A. Now start to breathe in a little bit deeper, filling up the lungs a little bit more as you hold at the top and then seal your lips this time. And then just exit the breath through the nose, creating that strong ujjayi breath. Again, deep inhale through the nose, fill it on up. Exhale through your nose. One more time with intention, deep inhale breath. Exhale through your nose. Keep that continuous breath as you elegantly grab your phone and you're gonna press the first song on the playlist in five, four, three, two, press. All right, take your hands over to the right side of the mat, bringing your left hand on top of the right. Just stretching out the left side body. Just have a few breaths here before you go over to the other side. Walk your hands over to the left if you haven't already and have three strong breaths. Bring your hands to center, lengthen through the fingertips. Big inhale breath. Exhale, H-A. Start to come up into that tabletop, stacking the shoulders and stacking the hips, finding that neutral spine. Wag those hips side to side. Maybe rock back and forth. Maybe palms down, fingertips towards knees. Whatever feels good. You can go in circles. <clears throat> You'll come back to center eventually. Palms right down towards the mat. Stack the shoulders, stack the hips. And inhale, drop your belly, look up. Deep inhale, breath. Same, same, but different. Exhale, round the spine, look through the legs. Up towards the belly, maybe. 
Inhale, belly down, shift gaze up, big breath in. Exhale, round. Again, deep inhale, breath, belly down, shift gaze up. Exhale, round. Neutral spine, tuck your toes, lift your knees two inches off the mat, zip up that belly to spine. Holding here, so try to keep that flat back, gazing right in between the fingertips. Holding here, zip up belly to spine. <clears throat> now as you're just hanging out here, feeling so good, just send your right leg towards the back of the room as your left knee hovers, holding here. So your left knee is still hovering two inches off of the mat. Five, four, three, two, switch sides. Right foot comes down, left leg goes to the back of the mat and your right knee is just hovering. Keep your hips square, flex the foot. Snap, snap. For five, four, three, two, one, come back to that tabletop, but hover the knees. Hover the knees, Gina, you've got this five. I'll stop counting. Holding here, and then find that downward facing dog as a resting posture. So that should feel good now. Ooh, maybe walk out that puppy, bend your knees back and forth, pedal out your heels, spread your fingers wide. Continue to push your chest towards the shins. Maybe feet are hip width distance. Maybe you're bending those knees. Let this feel fantastic. And then maybe find stillness as the heels go in the direction towards the ground. Nice. Right leg goes up to the sky. Three-legged dog as you lift that heel. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hips. Half scorpion, you can roll out that ankle if you want to. You can roll out that ankle in the opposite direction. Back to three-legged dog as you inhale. Exhale, knee to your nose. Touch the knee to the nose, hold here. Then bring that foot in between the hands. Left knee comes down, hands come up. Moon pose, ha. Ah. Deep breath in, push the hips forward. Exhale, twist your hands open to the right side of the room. So you're just twisting here, still pushing your hips forward. Beautiful. Right hand to left hand straight. Left hand goes high. Still pushing your hips forward. Then cartwheel your arms to the top of the mat and find Skandasana, bending deep into your right knee, flexing the left toes back towards your face. So just a nice little stretch. <clears throat> now let's go over to Skandasana onto the back of the mat, flexing your right toes back towards the face. Maybe this feels good to have that left, knee, left heel lifted, or you can have that heel down and not be as low. Now going towards the top of the mat, Find an easy twist. Left hand goes down, right hand goes up. Heel open, look up, gaze up, big breath in. And then find high plank, getting ready for your first chaturanga, folding here. You can drop your knees if you'd like to. You can push your heels forward, shoulders right above the fingertips as you inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway, squeeze the elbows into the sides of the ribs. Now toes come down, thighs lift, shoulders down and back, upward dog. Exhale, reset into your downward facing dog. Ah, easy peasy. Beautiful, root down through that right foot, left leg goes up to the sky. Exhale, half scorpion. Roll out that ankle in both directions. Keep your shoulders square. I love this playlist because it keeps me chill and we're not flowing by minute three. <laughs> Back to three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to your nose. Touch that knee to the nose for a moment. Then bring that foot in between the hands. Right knee comes down, hands come up. Moon pose, shoulders down and back. Keep pushing the hips forward as your hands go high. And then exhale, just twist your hands open to the left. So you're just twisting here. Take your left hand to your right hamstring. Right hand goes up. Still pushing those hips forward, big breath in. Then cartwheel your arms down. Find Skandasana on the front of your mat, flexing your right toes back towards the face. So heel can come down, your hips can be a little bit higher. 
You can do whatever feels good. I'm just looking for a nice little stretch since we'll do this at some point. Go into Skandasana on the opposite side of your mat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then find easy twist to the top of your mat. Right hand down, left hand comes up. Big twist as you open it up. And then Chaturanga, high to low push up. Just move with your breath. Upward dog is your inhale. Downward dog is your exhale. Nice job. So reset here. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, walk or float to the top as you halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. How about you heel toe the feet hip width distance for a moment? You can grab opposite elbows, hanging in ragdoll. You can start to rock that torso side to side, shaking the head yes or no. You can interlace your hands at your low back and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Shoulders squeezed. And then inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward, interlace. You keep your hands interlaced. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold with hands down to the mat. Start to bring your feet together. And one vertebrae at a time, you'll slowly start to rise till the shoulders are down and back and the palms are facing forward. Tadasana Mountain Pose, shoulders down and back, palms forward. Nice job. Now inhale, circle, sweep the hands, go high, big breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low push up. So move with your breath. Your inhale is an upward dog. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Exhale is a downward dog. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, walk or float to the top of the mat. Nice, Emily. Halfway lift, fold. Circle sweep, inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Hips low, Utkatasana chair pose. Sit deep into those hips. Big toes are touching. Weight into your heels. Maybe lift the toes off of the mat. Maybe spread the toes wide. Have more weight into your heels, more weight into your hips. Shoulders down and back. Energy through your fingertips. Zip up belly to spine as you inhale. And then exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low push up. Moving with breath. Upward facing dog as you inhale. Exhale to downward facing ha. Right leg goes to the top of the mat, crescent lunge. So you just find that crescent lunge. Back left heel is pushing forward. Can you get that right? Knee stacking right above that right heel. Straighten up that left leg as you push that left heel forward. And then just stack the hands right above the shoulders. Maybe gaze forward, maybe gaze up towards the hands. And then sit deep into the hips. Notice your breath here. Remember that intention. How are you showing up for yourself this evening? Beautiful. Sit a little bit deeper into the hips. Inhale, draw your hands back a little bit more. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low push up. Move with intention. Upward facing dog as you inhale. Awesome. Exhale to downward facing dog, nice K. Left leg steps forward, crescent lunge. Back heel is high, hands go up. Make sure your feet are hip width distance so they're on train tracks. Push your right heel forward. Push weight into that right big toe as you push your right heel more forward. Nice punchy. Relax the shoulders, maybe gaze up. So you're just keeping that strong ujjayi breath, even though you're just holding right here. Sit a little bit deeper into the hips, belly to spine, but focus on that breath. Nowhere else to be than right here, right now. Look up, gaze up, inhale, breath. Exhale, float through your vinyasa, high to low push-ups. So just fancy push-ups. 
As you inhale, upward dog. As you exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees as you gaze forward and exhale, walk or float to the top as you halfway lift. Forward fold, exhale at your own pace. Circle sweep for your inhale breath. And then maybe just sit down into your tail, tail, tail as you exhale. Hold here for a deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Curl pose or halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa, high to low push up. Inhale brings you to upward dog. Exhale brings you to downward dog. Right leg steps forward, crescent lunge as you inhale. Just like in the warm up, exhale, twist your hands open to the right side of the mat. So just gaze, maybe over that right thumb or just gaze towards the right. Doesn't matter. But energy through your fingertips, the legs stay exactly the same. So this is your exhale breath. Now you're gonna go into Skandasana, bending the left knee, but keep your hands up to the sides. Palms towards the screen or wherever the heck you are. Flex your toes back towards the face, hold here. Let the left leg feel good. Does your left leg feel good? Try to have your toes towards the left side of your mat. So sit deep into the hips for five, four, Three, two, exhale to warrior two to the top of your mat. So bending that right knee, sit deep into the hips. Your arms should feel really good now, yeah? It's like we're not even lifting any weight weights, but we're lifting our body. So stay deep. Your right toes are facing the front of the mat. Peel that right knee open, weight into the knife edge of that left foot. And then just flip your palm as you reverse your warrior. Staying low into the legs. And then you'll chaturanga for your exhale. So just moving through your vinyasa. Upward dog will be your own inhale breath. Exhale to downward dog. Nice job. Left leg steps forward, crescent lunge. Deep inhale as you rise. Exhale, twist your hands open to the left. So you're just twisting here. Breathing here, your legs stay strong where they are. Your arms should start to feel good here. Sit a little bit deeper, stack that left heel right over that left <laughs> knee over the heel. Beautiful, keep your arms open and then just go into Skandasana, bending that right knee, flexing the left toes back towards the face. So now the right leg is feeling good. <laughs> Your hands are feeling fantastic. And know that we'll be moving a little bit faster on the next round. So you won't even feel a thing on the next round. So let this feel good. Maybe flex the left toes towards your face. Hold here. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two to the top of your mat. Same, same as other side. Ooh. Sit deep into the hips. Try to get that right angle in the left leg. Beautiful, nice Toby. Nice Ashley, good job with your wine yoga class. Breathing here, sit a little bit deeper. Now flip your palm and reverse your warrior. Stay low into that lunge, big breath in, and then chaturanga, high to low push up. Just move without thinking now. Inhale fills you upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing ha. Bend your knees as you gaze forward. Exhale, walk or float to the top as you halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Circle sweep, the arms go high. Exhale, sit down into your chair. Big breath in, belly to spine. Exhale, forward fold. Curl pose or halfway lift. And then move through your vinyasa, chaturanga, nice jina. Upward dog. Downward dog. Right leg goes high, inhale, breath. Exhale, knee to your left elbow. Inhale, rise. Knee to your nose. Inhale, rise. Knee to your right elbow, hold here or fly. Five, four, three, two, one. Three-legged dog. Exhale, bring that foot in between the hands, crescent lunge as you inhale. Exhale, twist your hands open to the right. Skandasana as you inhale. 
exhale to warrior two. Flip your palm as you reverse your warrior. Exhale to side angle, right hand comes down, left hand comes up, push that right knee away with the elbow. Peel open, look up towards that left thumb. Inhale, breath, reverse. Chaturanga, high to low. At your own pace. Is that cheese on my mat? Inhale, up dog. <laughs> Exhale, downward and facing dog. Left leg goes up to the sky. Inhale, back. Exhale, meet your right elbow. Inhale, lengthen, three-legged. Exhale, meet your nose. Inhale, reach, lengthen. Meet your left elbow, hold here or fly into that arm balance. If you did it on the other side, balance. <laughs> Three or five or something. Hold here, hold here, hold there, Emily. Don't go anywhere. And then back to three-legged dog. Exhale, bring that foot in between the hands. Crescent lunge as you inhale. Exhale, twist your hands open to the left. Skandasana with the arms open to the right side of the mat. Exhale to warrior two. Flip your palm as you reverse your warrior. Exhale to a side angle. Left hand comes down, right hand comes up. Push that left knee away with the elbow. Hold here. Feel fantastic here for five, four, three, two. Reverse your warrior as you inhale. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa. High to low. Push up, moving with intention. Upward dog for that inhale. Exhale to downward facing. Woo! Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, walk or float to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Nice breathing, even though I can't hear you. Circle, sweep, the arms go high. Oh, exhale, sit down into your chair. You'll have that inhale breath as you stay. Exhale, forward fold. Crow pose or halfway lift. Where are you going, Lori? Exhale, chaturanga, high to low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale to that downward dog. Right leg goes up to the sky. Inhale, breath. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. Inhale, reach, lengthen. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to your left elbow, hold here or wild thing. Straighten out that leg over to the left as the left hand comes up, hips go high. Keep that right leg exactly where it is. As you lift the hands up, keep the right leg there and then do three push-ups for fun. You'll just keep the leg there and then do one little push-ups. Two, three, three-legged dog, right leg high, crescent lunge. Inhale, woo. Exhale, twist your hands open to the right. Skandasana as you bend that left knee. Exhale to two. Flip your palm as you reverse. Exhale to side angle. Take your left hand to the low back coming into a half bind. It might be too early to maybe connect the hands. You can go into a bird of paradise here or you can stay exactly where you are. We still have lots of time left, I think. Yeah, nice work. So you take this where you want to. You find that fullest expression. Nice, Toby. Beautiful. Nice. And then slowly find your way back into that side angle. Side angle, maybe extend the hands forward. That feels good. Yep, and then left hand comes down, right hand comes up, go into a Vashisthasana, taking that right leg and placing it over your left. If you want to, you know you can bring left knee down, right hand up, maybe that feels better. Flex the toes back towards your face, lift the hips a little bit higher, five, four, three, Two, just flow through your vinyasa, high to low, la la la, inhale, upward dog, exhale to downward facing dog, left leg goes up to the sky as you inhale, exhale, meet your left elbow, inhale, reach, lengthen, exhale, meet your nose, 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to your right elbow. Hold it here or go into wild things. Straightening out that leg to the right as the right hand comes up. So lift those hips. You know that you're going to leave that left leg exactly where it is as you find that expression. And then do three push-ups, Gina. Do three push-ups wherever you are. No one's watching except for me unless your camera's off for good reasons because I stare at you. Back to three-legged dog once you do those three push-ups. And then crescent lunge, left foot in between the hands, hands high, inhale. Exhale, twist your hands open to the left. Skandasana, as you bend that right knee, hands stay open. Exhale to a warrior two. Beautiful, flip your palm as you reverse your warrior. Exhale to a side angle. You can stay in side angle, or you can go into that half bind, full bind, or bird of paradise. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. La, la, la. Can you bring your booty even lower? Nice, strong. You're all doing great, I'm sure. I can only see the ones from here. So you take this where you want to. Don't escape the posture. Don't escape your breath. And then you'll find your way back into that side angle whenever you feel super comfy. Nice, Toby. Send both hands towards the front of the room because that feels good. And then maybe stay right there for three, two. Did we do an easy twist? Yeah, right hand comes down, left hand comes up, and then take that left leg and place it over your right leg, coming into that Bashi Stasana side plank. Stack the shoulders, beautiful. Stack your hips, flex your toes back towards the face. Sides of your mouth upwards, because Gina and I are getting married. <coughs> Find your fullest expression. You're having fun. Three, <laughs> two, chaturanga, high to low. Yes. Okay. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward Woo! facing hug. Beautiful. What are we going to do next? Maybe bring your knees down to the mat. Because we're resting now. Come into that table top. Send your right leg towards the back of the mat. Send your left hand towards the front of the room. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze with confidence. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze asana. Inhale, lengthen. Hold here. Bend the right knee. Grab that foot and just kick into the hands. Flare your toes. We lost one. Where did that one go? Breathing here. Yeah. Continue to kick. Kickity. Kick. And then slowly reach, lengthen forward and back. And then open it up. Left hand comes over to the left. Right foot comes over to the right. Keep your right foot where it is. Bring both hands down. And bring your right foot to the top of your mat, finding moon pose. I know. Inhale, moon pose. Exhale, swoosh the hands back, tuck the toes and lift that left knee, so squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, crescent lunge, hands go high, this time root down into that right foot, and then rise into warrior three. Reaching the hands forward, reaching that left heel back. Breathing here, keep your hips square. Holding here. Nice work. Back to crescent lunge. Inhale, breath. Exhale, twist your hands open to the right. Now stay exactly where you are. And when you inhale, your left knee will touch that left elbow. So inhale, touch the left knee to the left elbow. Exhale, back to that twist. Do it again. Inhale, touch the elbow. Exhale, twist. Inhale, touch that elbow. Hold here. Five. Four. Three, two, half moon. Right hand comes down, left hand comes up. Stack your shoulders, stack that left hip over the right. In three seconds, you're gonna inhale and go into Skandasana with the hands open. In three, in two, one. Skandasana, bend deep into that left knee. 
Exhale to a warrior two. Woo. Inhale, flip your palm, reverse your warrior. Exhale to a side angle. Send both hands towards the front of the room. Lift your left heel and find that extended crescent. Mm -hmm. Now bring your hands to heart center as you inhale. Exhale, twist, left elbow to the outside of that right knee. Push that right palm down into the left. Maybe open up the arms here. Otherwise, stay exactly where you are. Five, four, three, two. Now reach both hands towards the front of the room and your legs feel really good now. You're still pushing that left heel forward. Bring both hands down to the mat, standing splits as the left leg goes high. <clears throat> you can play with taking that right hand around the right calf. You can take two hands around that right calf. You can play with handstand, whatever feels best. If you run a lot, your left leg's not gonna go very high because your hamstrings are so tight. And <laughs> do not judge yourself based on how high your leg can go. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Breathing here. Find your fullest expression as you kick. Awesome job. Kick. Kickity kick. Exhale, forward fold. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Circle sweep. The arms go high as you inhale. Exhale, sit down into that chair. Thank goodness. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Curl pose or halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, cha to freaking ranga, high to low. Upward dog, inhale breath. Downward facing dog. Bring your knees down to the mat, coming into a tabletop. Send your left leg towards the back of the room. Send your right hand towards the front of the room. Lift your right thumb, lift your left heel as you inhale. Exhale, squeeze, elbow comes to knee. Inhale, reach, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach, lengthen, hold here, bend the knee, grab your foot, kick into your hand. Flare your toes, maybe shift your gaze over that right shoulder. Keep, keep, I love this song, favorite song of 2020. And so, flare, kick, kickity, kick. Inhale, reach, lengthen forward and back, hold right here, and then just open it up. Left foot comes over to the left, right hand comes over to the right. Keep your left leg where it is, bring both hands down, and just start to scoot that left foot to the top of the mat, finding moon pose. So as you find that moon pose, you're gonna inhale. Exhale, swoosh the hands back as you tuck the toes and lift that right knee, holding, holding, holding. Now inhale, crescent lunge, hands go high. Exhale, twist your hands open to the left. Hold right here. Now bring your right knee to touch that right elbow for your inhale breath. Exhale to twist. Inhale, touch that knee. Exhale, twist. Inhale, touch it, hold. And then you're gonna open up into half moon. Left hand comes down, right hand comes up. Did I do warrior three? No. Holding here. Breathing here. Turn your right hip down. Reach your hands forward. Go into warrior three. I don't want you to be uneven. Don't ever let me forget. I know, you're jumping all over the place because it was a weird transition. <laughs> Beautiful. Reach your hands forward. Reach that right heel back. Now just open up for that half moon. And on your inhale breath, you're gonna go into Skandasana. Bend deep into that right knee, flex the left toes. Exhale to a warrior two. Flip your palm as you reverse your warrior. Exhale to a side angle, left hand down, right hand up. Send both hands towards the front of the room. Lift your right heel off of the mat. Turn your belly down towards that left thigh. Lengthen here. Reach here. Now bring your hands to heart center as you inhale. Exhale, twist. Right elbow to the outside of that left knee. Push that left palm down into the right. Maybe you open up your arms here. 
Maybe you like to go into an arm balance here. But you're just finding that stillness, finding that breath. And then go back into that extended crescent, reaching your hands forward, pushing your right heel forward. Now bring both hands down to the mat. Standing splits as the right leg goes up to the sky. You can play left hand around the left calf or two hands around that calf. So take this where you want to take this. Awesome job. Nice, Lori. Awesome, Kay. Continue to kick. Kick it. Kick. Exhale, forward fold. Ah. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Circle sweep. The arms go high as you inhale. Exhale, sit down into your chair. Inhale, breath. Exhale, forward fold. Curl pose or halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga high to low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Right leg goes up to the sky as you inhale. Exhale, knee to your nose with breath. Inhale, reach, lengthen. Exhale to your nose. Inhale, reach, lengthen, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knees, stack the hips, stay or flip your dog. So know that you can stay in that three-legged dog or you can just flip on over. For a three, for two, one. Back to three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, bring that foot in between the hands, crescent lunge. Deep breath in. Go into that warrior three as you exhale. Inhale, back to crescent lunge. Exhale, twist your hands open to the right. Inhale, left knee touches that left elbow. This time, go into that half moon. Inhale, skandasana, bend deep into your left knee. Oh, exhale to warrior two. Flip your palm as you hold here. Exhale, reach hands forward. Find that extended crescent. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, cactus the arms. Lift that right heel off of the mat. Inhale, reach, lengthen. Exhale, cactus, lift the heel. Inhale, reach, lengthen, hold here. And then find Utkatasana, hands to heart center as you reach the crown of the head forward. And then left elbow goes to the outside of that right knee, finding that prayer twist. Your knees stay in line. Your hips are square. You can start to open up the arms here if you like to go there. You can go into side crow if that is in your practice. It's your choice. Try to keep your booty below your heart. Nice job. So you're taking this wherever you want to. Awesome. Back to center as you inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Crow pose or halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low push up. Inhale, we'll bring that up, dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg goes up to the sky as you inhale. Exhale, knee to your nose with breath. Inhale, reach, lengthen. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, reach, lengthen, hold right here, or bend the knees, stack the hips, flip your dog. Just do it with confidence, just flip on over. No one's watching except for me. Nice, Emma. Woo! Find that expression, nice, Derek. Find your fullest expression. Did I say that already? Beautiful. Now come back to it, three-legged dog, left leg goes up to the sky. Exhale, bring your foot in between your hands, crescent lunge as you inhale. Exhale into warrior three, balancing on that standing left leg. Inhale, crescent lunge, hands go high. Exhale, twist your hands open to the left. Right knee touches that right elbow for that inhale. Exhale to a half moon. Skandasana as you inhale, hands open. Exhale to a warrior two. Flip your palm, hold here. 
Exhale, extend both hands forward. Extended crescent as you lift that right heel, lengthening the hands forward. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together as you cactus the arms, left heel goes high. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, squeeze as you lift that left heel. Inhale, reach, lengthen, hold here. Then hands come to heart center as right foot meets the left. Reach that crown forward. Right elbow goes to the outside of the left knee, pushing that left palm down into the right. So now you're in that prayer twist. Your knees are in line, your hips are square, booty below the heart. Open up your arms if you want to go there or go into a side crow. You're having a blast. You're having a blast, Gina. Mm -hmm. You're getting blasted. <laughs> oh, I was nervous to teach this class. So maybe you're going into that side crow nice, Emma. Find that expression where everyone is just jumping back and forth and back and forth. And then slowly start to come back to center. Utkatasana. Exhale, swish the hands back as the heels go high. You're like, why the hell did I show up here today? Hands to heart center. Just kidding, forward fold. Heel to the feet hip with distance. That's always fun, a nice little break. As you take your two piece fingers and hook them around the big toes. Bend your knees as much as you'd like to make that happen as you lengthen the spine, flat back. Exhale, pull, elbows to the sides of the room. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, pull. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull. Goodness, there's so many sirens for five, four, three, two, Crow pose, place your hands in front of your feet, bend your elbows, bring your knees up onto your triceps. Finding that crow. So try to create those shelves with the shelves, shelves with the triceps. And then maybe bring the big toes to touch back behind you. Go into that tripod headstand if you like to go there. Or find Malasana, wide-legged squat, hands to heart center as you push the knees away. Doing great. Sure. Sure. <clears throat> so tripod headstand might feel really nice. Maybe you're in that Malasana wide legged squat and you're just chilling out. I got an email. Otherwise, you just take this where you want to and maybe you slowly find your way back into crow. Maybe you shoot back to your chaturanga. Maybe you find that nice downward facing dog ha notice your breath all right let's move on inhale bend your knees gaze forward again exhale walk or float to the top as you circle sweep the hands go high exhale swing your left arm underneath the right find that eagle palms to touch thumbs toward the face Sit deep into your hips as you bring your left leg up and over the right. So try to get the elbows and knees in line. If you ever fall out of something, it doesn't matter. It's probably the carpet. <laughs> Inhale, breath. Exhale, sleep that ego. Elbows come down towards the knees. And then when you're ready, keep your legs where they are. Take your right hand to the outside of that left foot. Maybe take your left hand to your hip. Left hand to hip, right hand to the outside of that left foot. And then stand all the way up and straighten out that left leg. If that's too much, you could just grab that knee. Maybe send that left hand back behind you. Maybe you have both hands up. And when you're ready, you'll go into a revolved half moon. Left hand comes down, right hand comes up. Breathing here. And then open up to half moon again. Stay here for an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, skandhasana, bend deep into that left knee. 
exhale to warrior two. Flip your palm as you reverse your triangle, straightening out that right leg. Exhale to Trikonasana, right hand comes down, left hand comes up. Your back left toes are pointing in, so that left foot is at a 45 degree angle. There's not a lot of weight in that right hand. You can do whatever variation you like to do here. It's always your choice. And then you'll rise all the way up. Ha! Bring your right toes in. Squeeze the shoulder blades together as you inhale. Exhale, flat back, forward fold, taking your hands to the knife edges of the feet, actively pulling that crown of the head in the direction towards the mat. You can go into a tripod headstand if you'd like to go there. Otherwise, just enjoy that nice forward fold. Awesome, Toby. Breathing here. You'll slowly bring your feet down to the mat. Then you'll bring your hands down to the mat and you'll walk yourself into a low lunge. Come up onto the fingertips, maybe shine your chest forward. Deeper lunge as you inhale, deep lunge. Exhale, straighten out your right leg, flex the toes towards your face. Inhale, deep lunge. Exhale, straighten your right leg. One more deep lunge. Forward fold as you exhale, feet together. Inhale, circle, sweep, hands go high, breath in. Exhale, swing your right arm underneath the left, palms to touch, thumbs toward the face. Then you'll sit deep into your hips and you'll bring your right leg up and over the left. Right leg goes over, right arm goes under. Try to squeeze everything to the midline of the body. You're doing great, Heather Hayes. I can't see you, but I know you're doing great. Elbows go higher as you sit a little bit deeper. And David Martini Bambini. <sighs> Belly to spine. <clears throat> And then slowly start to bring the elbows towards the knees, rounding here, connecting here, fingertips in the direction towards the ground. Release your arms, keep your legs where they are. Right hand can come to the low, the right hip. Left hand goes to the outside of that right foot. And when you're ready, you'll straighten out that left leg. You'll kick that right foot forward or you'll just grab the knee and take your right hand back behind you, palm facing up. Maybe both hands will come up. And then you'll swoosh that right leg back, finding your way into a revolved half moon, balancing on that standing left leg. Keep the hips square as you lift that heel. And then you'll open up into that half moon yet again. Stay here for an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, skandasana, hands out to the sides for the last time. Exhale to a warrior two. Flip your palm as you reverse that triangle, straighten out your left leg, and then find trikonasana, left hand comes down, right hand comes up. Make sure to bring that right hip slightly down. <clears throat> And you could do whatever variation you did on the other side. And you'll rise all the way up. Turn your left toes in, interlace hands at the low back as you squeeze the shoulder blades down and back. And then flat back forward fold with the shoulder rinse. You can go into a tripod headstand here or just stay with that nice shoulder rinse. Try to bring your toes slightly in. Try to keep your hips high, little Stuart. Try to keep your hips in line with your heels. Maybe you wanna go into those twists if you like to do that. 
So do whatever feels best for you, whatever feels good. Or just stay right here. Just stay right here, Gina. You're really pushing it. Huh? You're really, I'm really pushing it. Good. Yes, I, am. I know, you look like you're pushing it. <laughs> it's so warm. So if you're in that tripod headstand, you know what to do. Slowly bring the feet down, both hands come down. Everybody, you can slowly walk yourself to the top of the mat, coming into that <clears throat> deep lunge. Come up onto those fingertips, shine the chest forward, inhale. Exhale, straighten out that left leg, flex the toes towards your face. Inhale, breath, deep lunge. Exhale, straighten. One more inhale. Forward fold asana. Oh, goodness gracious. Circle, sweep, hands go high. Exhale, sit down into your chair. Oh. Exhale, sit down into your chair. <laughs> sit down more, 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 more. Come all the way down into Supta Baddha Konasana. Oh. Thank the sweet baby Jesus. Bring your hands to heart center. Squeeze the soles of the feet together. Lift the feet two inches off of the mat. Push your low back down into the mat. Reach your hands forward. And then just pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're having fun. Mm -hmm. Thirty-one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Legs up. <sighs> Take your hands, touch your toes, and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Climb the rope for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pulse up. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Climb the rope. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hug the knees into the chest and roll up into a boat pose. This is the last little bit. We're doing just a small amount of abs today. So flex your toes back towards your face, hands to the sides as you inhale. Exhale to low boat, hover the feet, hover the shoulders. Now come back up into that boat pose. Exhale, low boat. Inhale. Exhale, flutter kick for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax. Only because I can't handle anymore. <laughs> And Lee doesn't come to class anymore to tell me oh, what to gosh, do. Lee, miss you. I know, I miss Lee. Lengthen through the fingertips, lengthen through the toes. And then hug the knees into the chest. And find a down dog. Woo! <laughs> oh, Don't overthink it. You're just finding that nice downward facing dog as the right leg goes up to the sky. Half pigeon. It's like an instant relaxation after abs. You can do this on your back and reclined pigeon. Rise the chest up as you inhale, flex the right toes, and then come down to your forearms. Ah, relax asana. Are you relaxing? Good. You can go into a variation if you like to go there. Otherwise, just find a few more breaths. She's still knocking. She's still, there's a person that's hammering beneath us since like 12 p.m. She told us she's gonna stop hammering at nine. So you're just relaxing here. Find that fullest she's relaxation. Getting <laughs> she's getting hammered and hammering. And when you're ready, you'll just walk your hands back in, rising that chest up. Find three-legged dog only as a transition. Back into your down dog. 
Just switch legs if you're in reclined pigeon or left leg goes up. Exhale, half pigeon, knee to the left, foot to the right, square those hips. And then lower down to your forearms or reach the hands straight in front of you. Nowhere else to be in this moment <clears throat> other than a variation if you went there on the other side. Otherwise, just stay right here. If your head is down to the mat, maybe you rock that forehead side to side. Maybe you come back into that intention. Find gratitude for whatever we just did. Three more breaths. You'll walk your hands back in and you'll rise that chest up, sending that left leg back behind you just as an inhale breath, and then find downward facing dog. Bring your knees down to the mat, coming into a tabletop. Keep your knees hip width distance. Walk your hands in as you rise that chest up. Take your hands to the low back and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Push your hips forward and then just let that heart open. If you can start to see your back wall, maybe you start to grab for a heel or two. And if you grab for those heels, you continue pushing the hips more forward. Otherwise, just stay right where you are if that feels good. Two more breaths. And then you'll sit down onto your heels. You'll have a nice little water break. You're like, oh, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. And then you'll find your way all the way down onto your back. <clears throat> and your knees are bent and your feet are hip width distance. We're only going to do one bridge or one wheel. So root down into the heels. Make sure to grab those heels first and then palms down. Exhale the air. And then inhale, lift those hips high. Maybe interlace your hands beneath you as you squeeze the shoulder blades together. This should feel good. Does it feel good? Great. Pretend that there's a block in between your knees and you're squeezing that block. Maybe you went into a wheel. Maybe you just slowly start to relax. Finding your way into Supta Baddha Konasana, soles the feet together, knees spread wide, one hand to belly, one hand to heart. You're just relaxing. Root down into the low back, bring your knees back together, and send your legs straight up. You can take your hands and place them underneath your feet. We always do this, you know what to do. You can stay here if that feels good or you can go into a plow pose, supporting the hips, sending your toes in the direction towards the ground behind you. Don't move your chin around, just keep your chin to center to protect that spine. Or you can stay where I am and just let the blood flow in a different direction. If plow feels nice, stay. If shoulder stand feels better, maybe go into shoulder stand, supporting the hips. As you send the feet straight up towards the sky, pushing the hips more towards the back of the room and try to stack your heels right above those hips. I bet you're doing great, David Martin. This is your beautiful posture. Maybe flare your toes, Barbie your toes, and then go into, <laughs> and then go into a deaf man's pose, bringing the knees to the sides of the ears. 
Hips stay high. Whoop. Maybe you take your hands to the outer edges of the feet here if that feels good. Otherwise, keep supporting the low back. and you'll slowly find your way into happy baby pose. Try to push your tailbone out into the mat. Stack your heels right above the knees. Now pull your feet down. So as you're pulling the feet down, the hips start to reach the mat. And as you're pulling down, you're pushing your feet into the hands. Now as you're having that nice little happy baby pose, you can rock side to side, maybe straighten out a leg or two. That sounds like Southern accent. <laughs> Just put accents into the class. All right. Okay, hug the knees into the chest. Last bit. Left leg goes long, right knee comes up. Interlace your hands below that right knee. Squeeze that knee up and towards that right armpit as you flex the foot. Let's go into supine twist. Knee comes over the body to the left. Right hand comes over to the right. Look over that palm and close your eyes. This should feel good in the low back. Your shoulders are planted as you twist. Come to center. Switch. Squeeze that knee in towards the left armpit, avoiding the rib cage. When you exhale, you twist. Knee comes over the body to the right. Left hand to the left. Look over that palm, close the eyes. Just keep that ujjayi breath. to center. Both legs long, hands back behind you. Have one last big stretch, reaching towards the front and back of the room. Hug the knees into the chest. Grab opposite elbows, start to bring your forehead up to meet the knees. Squeeze yourself into one tiny little ball. Exhale, find Shavasana, let the feet splay to the sides, hands to the sides, palms up. Now just close your eyes. Come back into your natural breath. And just try not to escape, just be right here. When I was in high school, I would take yoga and the teacher would say, pretend you're on a leaf floating down a river. So float down your damn river. And just relax here. Come back into that intention and think about how you're gonna bring that intention into the rest of your evening. And if you're still holding on to anything, let's let it go. Have one big breath in as a class, biggest breath in as you hold at the top. Exhale, H-A. And feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.